Hey guys, welcome back. So, today, I painted my alien mask. Uh, nah, nah. Now, uh, I think it came out alright. It's hard to tell uh, what it looks like on video. I'm looking at it in a little monitor. And the other day, I when I was uh, setting up the mask to do the patches, it looked super bright and blown out when I looked in this monitor. But once I saw it actually on screen, it looked okay. So, I don't know how this reads. But um, it looks good in person. And it looks good in photos, so I'm hoping it reads okay here on, on screen. I don't know. Uh, this is a pretty quick paint job. I didn't do anything crazy. I didn't get nuts with detail or anything. I didn't paint little veins and spots, which I could do. And there's a reason why I'm not. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I wanted to make a video on how I did this. And I started to record it. And I have it. Here's a clip. You see, I actually was making a video, but my stupid camera died, the battery dies, and right now I have it plugged into this, into a wire, into the wall, so it doesn't die while I make this video. Um, but I will be painting more masks, and I will do some more the same method. And uh, today's method, I did, I used um, some of the latex, slip casting latex. I used artist acrylic that are I use the kind in tube and this is pretty concentrated so you don't need a whole lot to uh, make your blend have a nice strong color uh, I, I didn't just use red I use red blue uh, what else I didn't use that I used mostly red and blue today for this I think I might have used a tiny bit of brown at one point and then I used black for the eyes in the ears um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. The little glossy st stuff on the lips and the eyes, I used the gloss varnish, which is by Liquitex. And this stuff has some flex to it, so it should hold up okay on here. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. Now, as far as using black paints on here, a lot of people will use black in the seams and crevices. I am not a fan of that. I, I think it looks bad when people do that. Uh, I've had opportunity to see a lot of beautiful screen use creatures in person up close and some of my favorite ones don't use black to accentuate the all the uh, detail they use like a dark brown or a dark green or dark purple dark red or dark blue it's pretty much typical depending on what color the the base of the creature is um it's almost never uses black i, I don't see that very often when i see it it looks it, grabs my eye in a weird way so i don't use it if you guys want to use it, that's fine i don't give a shit but i don't want to use that um so anyway yeah this is here's the basics i will go over this again i will make a video where i'm actually painting one of the masks this way and then i will do one where i use um a solvent based mix which is like rubber cement naphtha and a pigment of some sort like either acrylic oil or you could even use some types of inks will work okay um We'll go into that in another video. That stuff smells really, really bad, and my room is closed in, so I got to do it on a day when I can open the door and put the fan on. So we'll see. But um, like I said, I'm doing multiple masks before the middle of March. Multiple masks before the middle of March. So I will do multiple paint things, and I'll show how to mold them and how I'm casting them. I'll do a whole bunch of videos on that. It'll keep me busy with YouTube stuff. Um, but anyway, quick look. Da 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 da. First draft, if I touch it up, I'll show you guys. Um, otherwise, I don't even know. I am finding some accessories. I, I want to kind of make this into a character and add some some gear, maybe a little bit of clothing and some headphones or so, some, some kind of accessories to make this look more like a character than just a mask. So um, when it gets used, it kind of has a feeling like it's a lived-in creature and not just some, some creepy, like, alien head thing. But... Uh, Anyway, that's enough for tonight. I'll stop rambling and let you guys get back to whatever you're watching here. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. I'll get you an update on this. Have fun. Bye.